Hello everyone, so I am finally in the Philippines. Um, I had to take three flights in the end from Bali. I left at 4 a.m. in the morning for my hostel. I got to my hostel here in Cebu at 11 p.m. Um, <clears throat> I didn't do any videoing yesterday because uh, I lost my voice. But um, Cebu is uh, it's a big city. Um, I went to Aeon shopping centre yesterday. And uh, two really good things happened. Um, I went to a, a restaurant, Dim Sung House, and uh, as soon as I entered and sat down, they wheel over the food to you. Um, it was like a Chinese tapas. Uh, so yeah, as soon as you sit down, the guys come round with their trolleys and just deliver the food for you straight away, which was pretty awesome. Definitely check it out. And uh, then decided to get my hair cut and for the equivalent of like £2.50 I got my hair cut and then I got like a 10 minute massage after like a head and shoulder massage so I don't know if that's normal in the Philippines or not maybe you can help me out but yeah that was a surprise so I um, just bought a couple of uh, bananas from a uh, just a food store outside my hostel and honestly they are the nicest bananas I've ever had. Like, so sweet. So um, I got a bit sick of wearing the same clothes over and over again for like the last 10 months or so. Um, so I decided to treat myself uh, to some clothes from H&M from the shopping centre. I, I did go a bit overload. Um, I went and spent $200 on clothes. Um, but you know I got about five t-shirts, three pairs of shorts, swimming shorts and some trousers um, which back home probably would have cost at least 200 pounds so, um, so I've saved myself half the amount and then uh, after I went clothes shopping um, I bumped into this girl, a uh, Filipino girl in the shopping centre and uh, we started chatting and then we ended up going to the cinema together and um, she then took me around uh, her hometown and uh, even showed me a disco in the streets which was going on so I feel like I've got a right uh, good Filipino ex cultural experience and uh, there was no other backpackers there either so yeah I got treated to that which was really cool. It was a difficult decision to decide where to go, but um, I'm going to catch the ferry to Bohol today. Sorry, I'm very sweaty. Um, so I've arrived in Bohol. Um, so it was a two-hour ferry ride uh, from Cebu from um, Terminal One, which cost 350 pesos um, just for one way, and uh, that was economy class, um, which it doesn't have aircon. 
but it's okay because there's windows open which let in the breeze anyway, so that was fine. Um, but you do have to pay a bit extra for your baggage. And there's a terminal fee as well, but all in all, it's still only something like $12, like £6. Um, whereas the ferry in uh, Bali to the Gili Islands was uh, $50 for the same amount of distance. So, uh, yes, very cheap. Um, but uh, yeah, I rented a, a moped here. Uh, that was slightly more expensive than Bali. Um, I've hired it for two days. I'm gonna hope to see the chocolate uh, hills. Um, and I wanna see the uh, really small monkey on this island. Should be really good. Um, but yeah, to hire the moped cost uh, 800 pesos for two days, which is about it's, it's about 20 dollars for two days. So it's still reasonable. Guys, so it's the following morning and I have made it to the Tarsia Monkey Sanctuary and I'm actually pretty proud of myself because I've hired this moped, uh, I've had no internet, no idea of where I'm going, um, but I just did the old fashioned way of stopping and asking people every every five minutes or so, uh, so I asked like five different people but uh, yeah, it's not too far from Tag Biloran city is in a place called Corellia and uh, there's a big sign as you approach as you can see and now I'm just gonna go check it out There you go, apparently they kill themselves due to trauma uh, from too much noise, which is really sad. Um, so there are signs when we get close that we have to be completely silent. And they're endangered, they're only found in a few different places, um, in the Philippines, Malaysia and Indonesia.
They're the world's smallest primate, and they are absolutely tiny, t small. They fit in my hand pretty much, and um, one eye is bigger than their entire brain. And in uh, comparison to humans um, for their body size, um, their eyes are 150 times bigger than that of a human eye. Um, compared to our bodies. So um, I saw four tarsiers, but uh, only one of them was actually asleep, which is a bit concerning. Uh, they are meant to be asleep during the day. Um, it is quiet when you go around, but there's, there's guides there showing you where they are. And, um, well, the guides actually, they're standing constantly where the series so maybe they disturb them when they move and the actual car park it's pretty close to the sanctuary so I think the noise from here is you know, too much um, for the task but it would have cost um, a couple of thousand pesos if you're we're going to do this with a guide spider on me. Um, but I just did it myself and it cost 60 pesos to get in so really cheap.